In this video, I'll show you how to play Xbox games on your PC. I will be covering two methods, the first one being remote play using your Xbox, and the second one being uh, for users that have Game Pass Ultimate, and they can use the Game Pass Ultimate to download any Xbox game that is inside of the Game Pass Ultimate on their PC. So, for both of these methods, you will need the following application. You will need to install the Xbox application. You start off on your desktop, you navigate to the bottom and you press the Microsoft Store application and open it up. If it's not on your taskbar, go over to the search bar, press it, and write Microsoft Store. And here it is. After you get inside of the store, you go to the top search bar, select it, and write Xbox. Now that you have written Xbox, you wait for it to load, of course, and you select the first application right here. Here, instead of an open button, you will have an install button. Install the application. For this method to work for you, you need to make sure that both your PC and Xbox console are connected to the same internet connection, on, on the same Wi-Fi to be uh, precise. Now, let's start off with the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to enable it. The first thing after you get inside of your main menu of your console, you need to find the settings application. You can go into My Games and Apps. And here, scroll down to apps, and you will be able to find it right here. Let's open it up. Now that we open it up, we scroll down till we get into devices and connections. Then we swipe right, then we swipe down, and we get into remote features. We select that. And now we are back. As you can see, I just logged in into this section right here. The first thing that you will need to do is make sure that this option right here, called Enable Remote Features, is turned on. Then, after you have set that up, you need to scroll to the right using your analog and then go into Xbox App Preferences, select that. And here you need to make sure that you select the proper setting that you, you would like. So, you have three options. Allow connections from any device, only from profiles signed in into on this Xbox console, and don't allow the Xbox app to connect. If you want to play remotely, you, 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 you should choose between the first one and the second one. The second one is more secure than the first one. The first one, you don't need to have the exact account that is connected to the console to access the remote play. But for the uh, second one, you need an exact account. I want it to be more secure, so I'll select the second one. And now, after you're done here, you can exit this. And now, let's re return to our PC. Now that we are back on our PC, to continue the method, we need to do the following. The first thing we should do is plug in our Xbox controller using the charger that we get with the console itself, or we should find a similar cable that is USB to USB-C. Then, if we use this to plug in our uh, controller into a uh, PC, so we can connect it for remote play. I'll be back as soon as I connect my controller. Okay, so now we are back. After we are back and we have connected the, co the controller, we go to the search bar in the bottom left and we search for the Xbox application that we installed earlier in this video. Let's open it up. After you open this application up, you go to the top left and you hover this option right here called consoles and you click it. Here you should find your console that you just enabled remote play on, select it, and now we are loading inside of remote play. Let's see. Now we're inside of our Xbox remote play application. Let me toggle the full screen so you can see. And here we are. As you can see, I can move around. I can do anything that I want. I can even turn on some games. Let's open up Rocket League. And here is Rocket League on my PC playing with my Xbox. I need to mention, this is really important, to be able to play the games on your uh, PC using your Xbox uh, with this method, you may, must make sure that to keep your Xbox online or turned on at all times. Then after you have installed it, you press the open button or find the shortcut on your desktop, of course, or search for it on the search bar right here by writing Xbox. And here it is. Now that you have entered right here, here on the top left, you will need to sign in with your Microsoft account, the same account that you have a Game Pass Ultimate subscription on. Now, as you can see, I have logged into my account 
and I can go and look at any games that I want that are implemented in the Game Pass and I can download them. For example, I want to download Sea Thieves, I select it, and after I select it, I can just uh, wait for this button to load and I can press install. 